Her Excellency Adelgisa Albertina Xavier Reyes Magno, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation, Honorable Ministers, State Secretaries, and all national and provincial government officials. Members of the National Parliament, Excellencies, Ambassadors, and members of the Diplomatic Corps. National and international partners, members of the media, members of the United Nations family in Timor-Leste, all protocols observed. Excellencies, the preamble of the Charter of the United Nations, which came into force 75 years ago on the 24th of October 1945, starts with the words, we, the people of the United Nations. Today, I'm deeply honoured to celebrate with you, as the people who represent what the United Nations is all about, on the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. While I'm physically in the United Kingdom, recovering from a knee operation, my spirits are with you all in Dili, and I cannot wait to return to Timor-Leste next month. Timor-Leste especially since the restoration of independence, has been both a symbol and a champion of global cooperation and multilateralism. 21 years since the popular consultation, Timor-Leste is a country that is demonstrating strong solidarity with other nations. I would like to take this opportunity today to recognise and thank the government of Timor-Leste for contributing its financial and human resources, in many cases, through the United Nations system to support countries that are affected by conflict and disasters. As we mark the 75th anniversary of the United Nations, I hope that we can all join the effort to consolidate peace, unity and cohesion among all member states and people. We will need collective solidarity and trust in the coming years as we respond to the pandemic and build a robust recovery that supports the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. In line with this vision, the United Nations system through the UN country team in Timor-Leste is committed to reaffirming its commitment to support all people, regardless of their gender, abilities, age or other characteristics. We want people to achieve a future that we all want and the United Nations system that we all need. 2020 has been a difficult year for the whole world. It has been a year of global loss, loss of loved ones, loss of jobs, loss of security and stability, loss of confidence. In addition to the pandemic, we've also seen more signs of the climate emergency that the world is now facing. In Timor-Leste, while the health impacts of COVID-19 have to date been relatively limited as a result of the bold leadership of the government combined with strong solidarity and support from partners, the socio-economic impacts of the pandemic have been very significant for many families and particularly for women, children, older people, persons with disabilities and migrants. Please join me today in acknowledging the loss of loved ones suffered by many families in Timor-Leste and worldwide. But 2020 is not a lost year, far from it. We've all witnessed many examples of everyday heroism, bravery and camaraderie from health workers and many other essential service providers all across the world. We've been reminded of the importance of social protection, including universal health care, for all. We've also had the opportunity to pause and reflect on our own values, lifestyles and expectations. And we've had time to consider what is important to us as individuals, families and societies. This year has also reinforced the importance of global cooperation and multilateralism in building the future we want. The awarding of the Nobel Peace Prize to the United Nations World Food Programme gave all of us serving as part of the United Nations worldwide a renewed sense of optimism and mission. We have and will continue to stay and deliver for the people who need us the most. 
In the era of COVID-19, the time is now ripe for us to renew our collective commitments to the vision of tolerance, universal human rights, peaceful coexistence and promotion of inclusive social, environmental and economic growth as set out in the UN Charter. The 2030 Agenda's promise of leaving no one behind for people and for planet must guide us in making difficult policy choices and taking bold decisions and actions based on the spirit of global solidarity and shared responsibility. At the global level, we must work to advance global public goods and take decisive climate actions. At the country level, including in Timor-Leste, we must focus on greener and bluer economic recovery, building resilience of social services and increasing investment in social protection systems for all. In 2021, we, the United Nations, will start a new chapter in the strategic partnership between government and the UN system in Timor-Leste through the implementation of the UN Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework 2021 to 2025. The UN country team looks forward to strengthening our collective support to the government and people of Timor-Leste to help build the future Timor-Leste wants in partnership with all of the other agencies and all of your offices and embassies. In closing, I would like to, take, to thank you all today for your friendship, your partnership, your confidence and trust in the UN in Timor-Leste. Obrigado, Barak.